told your mother I would take good care of you. I love you more than anyone in this whole wide world. Angel, how did you end up in this place? She doesn't talk about her past. Redeeming Love has spent uh, so many years on the New York Times bestseller list, has sold over 3 million copies and is in 30 different languages. Fans of this beloved book are, are have been waiting to see this on the big screen at Regal. What can they expect? I mean, they can expect an epic love story. And, you know, somebody like a, a character like Angel, um, played very well by Abby. She, despite all best efforts, prevails and comes out stronger and it's a you know and ultimately that's a beautiful love story. I hope that it uh, really resonates with all the fans and people who have also you know never even read the book. I think and hope that they'll be pleasantly surprised. It really is it takes you through the emotional ringer. It's very very impactful for sure. There's never been a moment you were forgotten. That's Angel. You are not hope. No one gets within a foot of her for free. I have to meet her. What's your pleasure, mister? I didn't come here for the bat. The scenery and landscape in this movie is so beautiful. It's basically <laughs> like its own character. It's insane. <laughs> what was it like for you both to go to South Africa and, and film this epic story? I had a lot of time off which I secretly loved because I went to go play with penguins and cheetahs, I went on safari, I did hikes. And South Africa is such a beautiful, beautiful place. It's so rich in culture. And like you said, the scenery is, the, the landscapes are insane. So I loved it. Yeah, it was absolutely stunningly beautiful. Every single day I was just in awe with the landscape of, you know, and just being in Cape Town, but also seeing the rest of the country. And the first day of filming was out in this, this town that they had built and it was so windy. It's very windy a lot of the time in, in, in Cape Town anyway. But I literally, I couldn't open my eyes until they called action. <laughs> and then just because it was all sand and dust and all of that. Uh, yeah, it was it was it was quite interesting battling the the elements. You got any big plans? Plans? She can't keep me here. You forget where I found you, Missy. I made you a princess. Feel the power, Angel. The only girls who leave here are too old, too sick to work, or dead. I'm gonna kill you. Are you mean in this movie? Was it as fun for you guys to play these devious characters as it was for us to watch you in these very different roles that we're not used to seeing you in? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with it. You know, you know, you get to do all this wild stuff and you don't have to deal with real world consequences. Forgive I thought me. actually you were going to forgive us for playing these horrendous people, but yeah. okay. We'll get to that on the next interview. Hopefully. The next one. I liked you guys as bad guys. That was, I'm fine with that. <laughs> it was the vacation I had a problem with. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're gonna marry me. Take me away from here. Give me the life I deserve. Mm -hmm. I've got too many demons. I don't know how to love. You do not choose the life you have, but you can choose the life you want. It takes place in uh, 1850s gold rush. There is no Instagram, no phones, no nope. legal movies. <laughs> Could you both survive knowing what you now know? No. <laughs> no, <laughs> um, I think I could. But in terms of Instagram, yeah, I, I would prefer it actually if we didn't have Instagram. That's that part of it seems very um, like a breath of fresh air. <laughs> yeah, I would love no like internet, phones, anything like that. I think that would be great. But the, I'm, I'm with you yeah. guys. Take I'll go to South Africa with you both. We'll be off the gram. It'll be perfect. <laughs> <laughs>